Hi everyone, welcome back to WWG Academy and welcome back to Introduction Programming using Java. What we are going to do in this video is go back to the previous exercise, Conditional 03, and instead of just having the age here directly typed into the code, I mean hard coded, we are going to get this age from the keyboard. Now, I don't want to just use this exercise, I'm going to do the following. Control C, you see, in the file, Control V, and then I'm going to change here to exercise conditionals 04, and then I'm going to press OK. So basically, we have exactly the same code, uh, but with a different class. Now we are going to do the changes here. First, uh, we are going to create the scanner. So scanner, and I'm going to create with a new name, keyboard, new scanner. You see that I didn't import, but when I did new scanner and I press enter, we have here the import. So the import must always be before the class. The comments, they can come before the, the import because the comments is something that the compiler is completely uh, ignoring after uh, the compilation process. But the import must always be the first valid statement after the package. We are going to see package in the future. Okay, so system dot in. Okay, so basically what we have to do now that we have the keyboard is read the age. Now the age is already here, the value is already here. But I don't want to hard code the 13 and store in the variable. I want the value that's going to be stored inside the variable to be whatever I type in the console. First, let's give a nice message. It's out. Input your age to find your category. And then we are going to read and say it's integer keyboard dot next int. And then control shift F10. If we type here 12, the category is kids, control shift F10, uh, 16, juvenile, and now 22, adult. So as you can see, from now on, all the exercises, you can get the data from your input. I will do like a little bit more, maybe one, two or three. But in the end, I will go back to hard coding because it's just faster and it keeps your code a little bit cleaner. So for explaining, it's pretty good. But if you are just training, I would highly advise you to, hey, just input data. Okay, so uh, now that we have all the things that we need, we can move on to different topics. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.